Good morning. Uh, I'm honored today to present the Individual Teaching Excellence Award to Dr. Martina Lindseth, a professor of German at UW-Eau Claire. During her 19 years at UW-Eau Claire, Dr. Lindseth has become a recognized expert in her field, demonstrating a deep commitment to her students' learning and using innovative teaching strategies. Her quick-paced lectures have used a variety of research-based learning strategies that have promoted student learning through conversation and collaboration. Her efforts in curriculum design and language uh, instruction has played a key role in University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire's German program being designated as a German Center of Excellence by the American Association of German Teachers. Dr. Linseth was selected by the American Council of Teaching of Foreign Languages to become one of its trainers in 2011. In that capacity, she has trained and mentored uh, language proficiency assessment and curriculum development at many of the Big Ten universities and private institutions such as Stanford, Duke, and the University of Chicago. In addition, she provides curriculum design and teaching strategies to our K-12 school districts across the state, region, and even nationally. At UW-Eau Claire, she's mentored students in 16 different collaborative research projects, including two students who have become full, uh, Fulbright scholars. In 2017, she'd earned the Distinguished German Educator Award by the Wisconsin Chapter of the American Association of German Teachers. The UW-Eau Claire Provost had this to say about our award winner, and I quote, Dr. Linsa's skill at stretching and pushing students beyond their comfort zone leads to students who are adaptable, confident in their abilities, and the ability to achieve beyond their original aspirations, unquote. It is my privilege to recognize uh, Dr. Linseth for our first uh, Teaching Excellence Award for an individual. very nervous too so I prepared a speech I usually don't read speeches but I thought I'd play this one a little safer so thank you very much I'm very honored and I certainly would have never thought that I would give a speech in front of UW regents chancellors provosts but yet here I am so I guess I'll take this chance uh, this has been a year of milestones for me personally. 30 years ago, almost to the day, I came to the United States. I arrived from a country, East Germany at the time, that would cease to exist only a year later with the fall of the wall. And I cannot take credit for that event as much as I would like to. <laughs> but um, I came here with no specific plan and nothing much to my name at all other than this desire to learn about the language and the culture of my new home. The following year I was unexpectedly asked to teach a beginning German class. I was not in school at the time. I was not having any experience in this area but student enrollment had skyrocketed with the fall of the Berlin Wall and uh, the chair of the department at Indiana University, Purdue University in Indianapolis, IOPOY, happened to be in attendance of a presentation I had given about my personal perspectives on growing up in East Germany. And after that presentation, he came up to me and said, how would you like to teach a beginning German class for us? And I had no experience teaching. I had really broken English at the time, and yet he gave me that chance. And he was taking the risk and I was willing to accept the risk and I didn't really know what I was getting myself into it, but uh, here I was suddenly teaching a peer group of students my own age and um, it was really like giving an unrehearsed life performance in a sociology experiment because um, I had grown up in a completely different part of, of the world, right? behind the Iron Curtain, and yet I had this immediate rapport with my students, and I felt the immediate 
passion for teaching, and it was then that I decided, I think, to pursue a PhD and become a college professor. A lot has changed since then over the years, but this passion, this connection to the students, the willingness to take on new challenges and risks, that has been a constant throughout my career. But back to the milestone theme, uh, 10 years later, exactly 20 years ago, I came to our beautiful Badger State to take a tenure-track job at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire. And um, I've always felt really fortunate and privileged to have been given this opportunity to share my expertise in language and linguistics and cultures with the young people of, uh, of this state. I'm exceptionally proud to bring back this award to our campus, to Eau Claire Blue Golds. Um, I designed my classroom to be a space where students are inspired to do their best and they feel safe to make mistakes. I teach language with a functional approach where it is much more important what you can do with the language in real life than is what you know about the language. And most of you probably have had some language teaching experience. Um, language is at the heart of the human experience. Uh, it opens unforeseen opportunities. It certainly did that for me starting with this unexpected job offer 30 years ago, and it continues till today. I find it very gratifying to send my own students on their lifelong journey of discovery that goes along with learning how to communicate in another language. Uh, the transformation is striking. We become interculturally confident and competent individuals with new perspectives on our own cultures, and also passion and empathy for others. And I could list many examples, uh, but let me just uh, tell you about one specific incident or example that might resonate with you. In 2003, while uh, on a semester abroad with students, I took that group to the reopening of a church in my birthplace of Dresden. The church had been in ruins since its destruction in 1945 and it was just rebuilt with donations from the United States and from Great Britain. And I was able to witness my students engaging in German with the local residents of Dresden, but understanding so much more than the language. <clears throat> they were understanding the human factor. They were understanding the significance and symbolism of the moment. And this is an example of what we as language educators strive to achieve. This is really what it's all about. So it's a great honor to receive this award. However, the very nomination process was equally rewarding and inspiring. Um, as we are being asked to reflect on our own teaching and philosophy and how it evolved, and also asked to gather submissions from colleagues and students describing the impact our work has, has had, uh, it allowed me to look back at my teaching career, how it evolved, and it also um, had me realize the lasting positive effect my efforts have had on so many others, especially my students. And they're still, right now, as they're finding out about this award, they're sending me all these, these messages. So this has been the best way I could ever imagine full finishing my 20th year of service to the UW system and to the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. I'm thankful for all the support from colleagues, from students, from the administration, and thank you regions for offering this award. It really means so much to so many. So thank you very much. <laughs>